Hello there, my space fighter jocks, and welcome to another episode of the Emperor's Imperial Navy, where we talk about fighters, bombers, and very soon, gunships as well. Having already presented the Starhawk bomber to you, when I started talking about fighter craft, I thought about telling you more about its smaller brother, the Fury Interceptor. In this episode, I will do my best to discuss its crew, armament, construction, and role. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about it, shall we? The Fury Interceptor is the most common type of starfighter used by the Imperial Navy, the Adeptus Astartes, and the Imperium as a whole for void combat. The Fury is designated as an attack craft by the Imperial Navy. It is carried in their thousands by several different types of Imperial Navy battleships and Grand Cruisers and other attack carriers. Each fighter wing is comprised of roughly 15 to 20 Fury Interceptors each, with each squadron varying in size from 3 fighters to 5 fighters. The Fury Interceptor was first developed by the Mechanicum during the last years of the Great Crusade, in the 30th millennium. The craft was designed to replace the aging RAF pattern starfighter that was the most widely used starfighter in the Imperium at the time. The Fury was easier to produce, handled more smoothly by its pilots, and suffered from less technical malfunctions. However, the more veteran pilots in the Imperial Army fleet still preferred the RAF, seeing it as a finer instrument of void warfare over the much more sterile Fury. By the time of the Horus Heresy, the Fury had become the most common starfighter, and over the course of the next 10,000 years, the Fury would become the most common attack craft used by the Imperial Navy. This craft is also still used in small numbers by the forces of Chaos, even in the late 41st millennium, usually located on starships that have been captured or stolen by the Chaos fleets, or by defectors who have brought their fighters with them. The Fury has been mostly replaced in Chaos fleets by the so-called Swift Death Fighter, and for a large number of centuries, the Swift Death was the nemesis of the Fury in Void Combat. This chaotic fighter was faster and more maneuverable, though the Fury was more resilient in the face of damage and better armed. This fighter is one of the workhorses of the Imperial Navy, and can be used in multiple roles throughout a single fleet. It is most commonly used as a Void Superiority Fighter, or an interdiction attack craft that shoots down enemy torpedoes and bombers that threaten the larger capital ships. The Fury is also used to escort the Imperial Navy's Starhawk bombers during their own attack runs on the enemy capital ships. Furies can return to their mothership or another Imperial carrier if they need to, to be rearmed and repaired. Although if a Fury is too heavily damaged, another can be issued to the pilot if him and his crew are needed in the battle. When not in combat, Furies are used for scouting and reconnaissance, for simple combat air patrol missions around the fleet. It, along with the Starhawk bomber, is fully capable of attacking planetary targets within an atmosphere. However, due to their sheer size and obvious specialization for void combat, their effectiveness can vary depending on their target and how well it is protected. Like most Imperial vehicles and void craft, there exist several different patterns, marks, and variants of the Fury Interceptor, with the largest of them reaching up to 60 or 70 meters in length and the smallest being around 40 meters. The size of the Fury is such that a wing of 20 Furies takes up the same amount of space aboard a starship as a wing of Adeptus Astartes Thunderhawk gunships. Due to a lack of atmosphere in the void and the myriad other problems that plague atmospheric flight, the Fury is far more maneuverable despite its size when compared to an aircraft designed for atmospheric operation. The Fury is identifiable by its aerodynamic fighter hull and swept forward wings. The outer hull features an armored see-through canopy for the pilot and another for the gunner. The spacecraft is able to be fitted with an extra centerline mounted fuel tank for extended patrols and long-range missions. 
It is propelled by either a single, large fusion plasma thruster engine or by two smaller engines, each capable of generating up to 60,000 tons of thrust. The Fury is outfitted with several altitude jets to control its movements in zero gravity. Each Fury is crewed by at least two crewmen, the pilot and the gunnery officer. A fully crewed Fury requires four members, adding a navigator and a second gunner. On occasion, an astropath will also be aboard to provide greater communication capability. The size of the crew is dictated by the mission parameters set each time a squadron is launched into the void. Small-scale missions, such as fleet patrol and short-range interdiction, only require the pilot and the gunner, while long-range reconnaissance and interceptions require larger crews. The craft is also capable of having at least a partial crew made up of servitors. The Fury's reinforced hull contains an extensive network of circuitry and life support systems, including a small chemical toilet and a sleeping compartment for the crew, allowing for the craft to stay away from its mothership for longer periods of time if necessary. Each crew member aboard the Fury is highly trained, usually undergoing many years of harsh training to prepare them for the extremes of piloting a Fury in void combat. All crew members aboard a Fury are required to wear suspensor wire pressurized suits to ensure their blood does not pool in zero gravity. This is also done to help counteract the horrendous forces of rapid acceleration and extreme G-forces encountered during high-speed void combat. The pressure suits pump super-oxygenated blood directly into the body via spinal connectors and their contoured helmets exerted outwards pressure on the surrounding air to prevent the crewman from blacking out. A fury can be easily torn apart by the intense gravitational forces experienced by mishandling the craft or by losing control of a damaged craft in combat. A fury interceptor crewed by space marines probably has these systems removed, as the Astartes power armor and genetically enhanced physical prowess would provide the same, if not even better, protection. The Fury Interceptor is heavily armed for a craft of its size, and due to its number of patterns and variants, the fighter has several known weapon loadouts. All known patterns of the Fury can be armed with up to two wing-mounted racks carrying a variable amount of high-explosive anti-starship missiles. The craft is also usually armed with several banks of forward-firing LAS cannons, either mounted on the starship's hull or on its wings. There exist variants of the Fury with a nose-mounted turret bowl, which can be armed with either LAS cannons or multi-lasers. It is also unknown what other types of weapons may be used by different patterns of the Fury, and how many various marks and patterns of the Fury may actually exist among the scattered battle fleets of the Imperial Navy. A couple of well-known Fury Interceptor squadrons include The Tempest Wing of Battlefleet Coronas This is a renowned fighter wing that is stationed aboard the Imperial Navy Mars-class battlecruiser Griffin. The Angel Squadron of Battlefleet Tempestus Angel Squadron is stationed aboard the Dictator-class cruiser Carlos Vincennes and took part in the defense of the world Tarsis Ultra against the Tyranids. The Imperial capital ships, which are well known for carrying large numbers of Fury Interceptors, are as follows. The Emperor-class battleship, the Oberon-class battleship, the Exorcist-class Grand Cruiser, the Mars-class battlecruiser, the Dictator-class cruiser, and escort carriers, which are mostly just converted transports used when nothing else is available as a carrier. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Fury Interceptor for today. For those of you who are curious, in my next Imperial Navy video, I will probably cover either the Marauder bombers or the Valkyrie or Vulture gunships. Would piloting a Fury strike your fancy? Or would you rather have something with more firepower? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video or if you found it useful, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for future content. I thank you kindly for watching this to the end, and I wish you a great day. The Emperor Protects.